Today in our 2017 Dodge Grand Caravan, we're going to be taking a look at the Kuat NV 2.0 2 bike rack for 2 inch hitches, part number NV22G. We already have a bike installed on the rack, so let's go ahead and take a closer look and show off some of the features. Now the most prominent feature about this bike rack is the fact that this can tilt away with the bike still attached to it. To do that, we have this switch here at the front, which will pull towards us and let it tilt away. Now this is a little bit nicer than some of the other models, because usually the handle's below, and it makes it a little more awkward to get to when you have two bikes. So we'll hold on to the bike rack, pull the switch towards us, let it come down, and now we have full access to our rear hatch. However, unfortunately, with the configuration and the hitch that we have on this vehicle, this will come into contact with the handlebars of our bike. Once you're done, just go ahead and push it back up into position until you hear that click. Now how the bike is actually attached to the rack, we're going to have two points of, con uh, two points of connection here. We're going to have a padded wheel hook up at the front, and then we're going to have this wheel strap at the back. Now the wheel strap is adjustable along the length of the bike rack to accommodate different size bikes. We also have at the end here an integrated cable lock which you can actually pull out and wrap around your bikes and then lock it to itself. And there's going to be a cable lock on both arms. So let's go ahead and take the bike off and set it aside. We'll start with the rear wheel strap. You want to push this gray tab here up at the top and that will release the strap. Now before we release the wheel hook, we want to make sure that we're holding on to the bike because we don't want it falling into the vehicle once we release it. Push up on the button up at the, uh, button up at the top, and then go ahead and push it away, and lift the bike up and out. We'll go ahead and fold this back up. And now I'm going to go ahead and give you a couple quick measurements. Starting from the edge of the bumper, measuring out to our outer arm here, we've added about 29 and a half inches to the rear of the vehicle. For our ground clearance, that's going to be about 21 inches. And then, for our closest point, that's going to be about six and a half inches to this edge, and then about 12 inches from this edge to the center of the hitch pinhole. So if you have a different style hitch, just keep that number in mind. Now for, for this configuration right now, we still have full hatch access with no bikes on. However, for those close quarter situations such as parking or putting it in your garage, this does fold up to give a little more clearance in the rear. To do that, we'll pull up on this tab again and push up until you hear that click. Now I'd also like to point out that once it's in this position, we also have this portion here that can lift up and grip your bike, so if you need to make any adjustments or fix it when you're on the trail, you can use this. Again, measuring from the edge of the bumper, now we've only added about 13 and a half inches to the rear of the vehicle, so that did make quite a bit of difference. Now how this actually attaches to the hitch, we have this locking pin here that will hold it into place and secure it to the hitch. But then we also have this anti-rattle knob at the end. You turn it to the right to tighten it up, and that will take the shake and play out of the shank to make for a much smoother ride. So there you have it for the Kuat NV 2.0 2 bike rack for 2 inch hitches, part number NV22G on our 2017 Dodge Grand Caravan. First we'll take it onto our slalom course. This will show you the side to side action such as making turns or evasive maneuvers. Now we're at the alternating speed bumps. This will show you how it looks driving on uneven pavement or potholes. Finally, we're at the solid speed bumps, which simulates going into your driveway or parking lots. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.